Okay, so welcome to this third in the sequence of three scratch animations looking at how we sequence traffic lights. So go to scratch, search for me, D Maidens, look at the studios, and you want the traffic light studios. And the one we're interested in in our traffic light studios is sequence three. Make sure you look to see inside the project and we can run it straight away with the green flag what it will do is tell us straight away um, don't run it full screen so do not press this up here like you normally would do make sure you're looking at the controller sprite which we are and the scripts press the green flag to start we've just done that and that's as if we can sequence the lights properly and press spacebar to remove the instructions so i'll press the spacebar the script is running i'm just going to minimize the animation up here and what we've got now is we've got controls here for our traffic lights so we can make the traffic light go green we can make the traffic light go amber which will stop the car we said let's wait for the car to come there we go and obviously go to red and we've got the controls for red and amber as well and we've got the controls for the crossing so the green man can be showing if the green man is showing the pedestrian will walk across the road a new pedestrian will come in at some random point uh, we can also do the green man flashing it should stop the pedestrian and we can make the pelican crossing go to red so we've got all the controls here what's interesting about this one now is you can see there's no forever loop if you looked at the other two here our actions aren't based on a timer but our actions and when we want to run the script is all dependent upon when the pedestrian presses the button here so there's a little crossing button and when we press that it will run uh, this script to cause a broadcast to happen so we can sequence events now from when the button is pushed so i'm not sure what we want to do maybe we want to make sure it goes to red and we change to the green man so we could try that let's press the button and see what happens there you go traffic lights go to red and the green man comes on obviously the question is can we sequence all of these to make the system work properly and make sure that the pedestrian isn't run over and there's a whole series of weights down there to play with okay thank you bye